This video tutorial will show you how to manage the report view. We will use the ramping module that has been inserted in the OCC file as an example. When performing any test, each test module has its own report template. However, you are able to define the scope of your report according to your specific needs. To do so, we will open the Report Settings dialog box. The first drop-down menu allows you to choose from short or long form. Depending on the form you choose, the report will be generated according to predefined settings. Remember that the default report form has been set in the system settings of the Test Universe start page. We will keep the short form as the starting point and use the Define button to customize our report by adding more items. All items in this dialog box are arranged in a tree layout. The checkboxes symbolize the available blocks and items to be included or excluded from the test report. Note that selecting a specific folder automatically includes all the subordinated items. As an example, we will add the signal view test results to our short form, including the ramp and recorded binary inputs. Click on OK to save and return to the Report Settings dialog box. Now, we can verify that the corresponding graphs have been added. These changes apply to this particular test only, but rather than using the long or short forms and overriding their settings, it is also possible to create new report forms with user-defined names. Going back to the Define window in the Report Settings dialog box, the Advance button expands the window and allows new forms to be created. Just assign a name and select an existing report form as a basis. Include and exclude the items of your choice and save it by clicking OK. From now on, this new form will be available in the Report Settings dialog box.